Hey everyone, if you're preparing for your upcoming Amazon interview or online assessment, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'll be sharing my complete experience from the OA to the interview rounds and what my overall Amazon um, loop journey was like. I'll also talk about what you can expect during your interview rounds, whether I applied through a referral or not, and if it's actually possible to get a call without one. I'll cover when I applied, um, whether it was an on-campus or an off-campus opportunity, and how long it took between each round to get my results. Now, coming to the online assessment itself, uh, you generally receive the OA link within about two weeks of applying for an open role. Um, the assessment had two portions to it. The first part included two DSA questions. The second part uh, was a work style assessment um, portion. The DSA questions were medium to hard um, and you can try solving both of them. Um, but even one question, if it is fully solved and the other uh, one has a few test cases remaining, you can still get an interview call. I've seen that happen quite often with my friends. Um, the work style assessment was quite unique and interesting. Um, it places you into real world situations as if you're already working at Amazon and need to make certain decisions. Um, you're given multiple scenarios and you have to choose how you would respond in real life. There's no single correct answer, but your choices help Amazon understand um, how you think and whether your approach aligns with their leadership principles. Um, just something to add on, um, before taking this assessment, um, it's generally a good idea if you go through those leadership principles online. Um, they'll help you understand what Amazon values and how you might approach decision making during the work style assessment portion. After completing my online assessment, I didn't hear back for about a month. My guess is that the opening I initially applied for was closed and later another university talent acquisition role opened up. Um, one thing that's great about Amazon is that they often um, reconsider strong profiles from um, previous applications when new roles open. If you've already been in their loop, they might even continue your process um, from where you left off. Um, so I had given my OA around November and I got my first interview call in February. Now coming to the interviews, there were three rounds after the OA. Each round included both DSA and leadership principle based questions. Typically each interview had about 45 minutes for coding and 10 to 15 minutes for behavioral questions. You can expect two questions per round usually medium to medium hard level um, and you're expected to not only solve them but also explain your approach clearly as you go communication um, plays a big role here there are candidates who solve both problems but do not get shortlisted and there are some who are able to um, communicate their thought process clearly um, and even if they're not able to complete the code they're still um, selected the initial feedback at Amazon usually falls under categories like strong, no hire, no hire, leaning hire, um, hire and strong hire. Um, from what I know, they generally do not give strong no hires because um, it, I, from what I know, it might impact your future um, applications as well. In my first round, I got two DSA questions. One was a 2D matrix based graph problem and other was based on the line sweep algorithm. Both were uh, lead code medium level. After that, the interviewer asked me a few behavioral questions based on leadership principles. And um, about a week later, um, the first round, I got an email saying that I was selected for the second round. However, um, it was rescheduled and it finally took place about um, a month later. And that's how my second round began. My second round happened at the start of March. Um, this round followed the same pattern, two DS equations followed by leadership principles. Um, both coding questions were again medium level. One was based on strings and other was a monotonic stack problem. A week later, I surprisingly received another email for a second round again. I wasn't sure why, so I reached out to my recruiter. My guess is that the feedback for the previous round might have been missed. so. Um, I ended up giving my second round once more. Um, this time the interview was a bit tougher and was taken by a senior software engineer. The format was the same. It started with um, leadership principles, then moved to two DSA questions. 
one was based on priority queues and the second one was similar to the split wise question that you might have seen I couldn't completely code the second question here because of time constraints but I clearly explained my approach and um, reasoning that helped me get through a few days later I received the email for my final round now the real test began uh, my third round was um, the bar razor round which got rescheduled nearly five times every time I joined um, there would be a scheduling issue or the interview um, panel wouldn't be available finally after um, some delays I received confirmation that the interviewer was available and the round was fixed um, this time for July so it was um, after my second time the second round happened um, it happened in April and the final round happened in July um, so this was the bar razor round undertaken by a principal engineer um, from San Francisco um, at Amazon a bar razor is a senior interviewer who ensures that every hire not only meets um, roles expectations but also raises the overall hiring bar for the company they have extensive interviewing experience and um, are trained to assess both um, technical ability and cultural fit unlike the previous rounds this was um, scheduled early in the morning so I had to make sure I wake up fresh and um, ready for the call when I joined those chime call the interviewer told me that um, this round would be entirely based on my experience no DSA questions this time just wanted to add that um, I've seen others get DSA questions in their final round um, but since I had already gone through two second rounds I believe they decided to focus only on the behavioral and experiential aspects for me this time the interview started with um, introductions from both sides then um, she went ahead and asked one question and um, kept doing deep dives into my responses so it was just a singular question with uh, discussions going on um, about my answers for um, close to 40 minutes and um, most of the conversation revolved around my internship experience the design choices I made during my projects and how I approach decision making in different scenarios I think this was my best round by the end of it she seemed quite satisfied and even mentioned that she was aware my interview loop had been going on for several months she said they were working on improving the situation and the process so future candidates wouldn't face similar delays which I really appreciated um, later I found out that um, part of reason for uh, delays on my interview loop was um, due to me being about to graduate and not have graduated yet which in hindsight makes sense um, overall my Amazon interview experience was really positive every interviewer I met was um, approachable supportive and um, genuinely interested in knowing about how I, how I would um, think about solving problems they would often give small hints or guide me if they saw potential in my approach which would make the um, whole experience more comfortable for anyone interviewing and yes I was selected and um, I finally joined the team at Amazon Music and it's been about two months now and my experience has been amazing so far and I'm really grateful for how things um, turned out so this is everything about my experience with um, interviewing for Amazon and um, you can let me know if you would want to know anything more about me or um, how I prepared for the interview how I studied during my college days or um, anything you would like to know about um, working at Amazon currently I can share my opinions you can let me know down in the comments and um, do like this video if you found this helpful yeah look forward to hearing suggestions from you in the comments do share this video if you found this helpful and bye bye